Rachel. In fact, we had a chance to catch up with Miranda before this match. Here's what she has to say. Hello, everybody. Miranda Alizé. And for those of you who don't know who I am, let me give you a little introduction. Not only did I compete in the first ever WWE Mae Young Classic, but I just got off of a three-month Japan tour with the biggest women's wrestling company in the world. And tonight, I'm here to stick my nose in everybody's business and take my spot on this card. I mean, why wouldn't I be here and look at me? I've got the look, I've got the body, I've got the athletic ability, and at the end of the day, I am what every single woman in every single locker room wishes they can be. And there's the bell. We are underway. Ladies action here in World Class Revolution. And these two immediately tying up, collar and elbow tie up, and Tennille Dashwood straight to the standing wrist lock. Reversed out there by Miranda Alizé into a wrist lock of her own. I'm going to turn that over into a, a hammer lock and now going into the front chancery. Both of these ladies obviously very proficient with scientific skill. They are here. They know that the marquee says wrestling and they are here showing that they can wrestle just as well as any of the men as Miranda Alizé gets to the ropes and forces the break. This, back to square one. This new generation of women's wrestling, I gotta tell you, it really, really is impressive. They can go par to par with the guys. You know, the, the ladies all across the world, the ladies have certainly taken a big step up within the past few years. And obviously, Miranda Alizé, as she mentioned, with that tour of Japan, I think you know quite well that the women in Japan train just like the men. They're just as tough as the men, if not, in some instances, tougher than. And so I'm sure she gained a lot of experience there. Yeah, but I think the experience here is what, it, it's what's going to make the difference here. She's going up against a, a young lady with a lot of experience. Well, Alizé now sinking in that side headlock and controlling Dash. Well, it was that a nookie? I, was, I believe that was a nookie, but it was successful. She and just dissed her. She just dissed her. <laughs> in order to break that hold. And uh, now back to the standing hammer, the hammer lock, but Alizé reverses and then slides over. This is, this is good scientific chain wrestling. Don't let go of a body part without taking hold of another one. Alizé. Now with her arm forced behind her. Again, both of these women seem to come in here with the same game plan to work over the arms, sensing perhaps that's the, the weak point in each other. Something you don't see very much, classic chain wrestling. I'm really enjoying this, CM. I really am. Great display of that scientific chain style. A look at Dashwood with some lucha rolls to break that. Pretty impressive. And again, back to square one. A, a great the feeling out process here between these two. They, they came in, they had a, a game plan here. It's worked to a certain extent, but not as well as either of them would like. Oh, and now Alizé with a straight kick to the midsection. And I think the scientific portion of this match is over. I didn't see that. I must have missed that. Were, were you blinking again? We're, we're really going to have to, to work on your eyesight, Al. But uh, Miranda Alizé... Now, just almost disrespectfully, just shoving Dashwood down. And, and now Alice just just beating on Dashwood. There's a pin attempt. One, only good for one. Really, Dashwood way too close to the ropes, I think, for that to be an effective cover. Now both ladies back to their feet. Tennille down, over, going to cradle and hook the leg. And only good for one again. Oh, nice seated drop kick. Dashwood in with the cover again. I think she got two out of that one. You can tell she's been doing her homework with a lot of Lucha style. That was oh, a very, very classic And now uh -oh. Dashwood looking to charge in, looking perhaps to, to go for that big flying body press she likes to do in the corner. And now off the ropes, down with a big axe handle. These girls can roughhouse it too, I'll tell you. Dashwood now showing that aggressive style. Chuck to the midsection. And she enjoyed that. She is absolutely adorable. I'm in love. I'm in love. And you wouldn't be loving it if she did that to you. You're probably I mean, right. You're probably right. Oh, and again. Oh. Ooh, that had to hurt. Right to the abs. And 
and Tennille throwing Miranda back into the ring. But a little slow to follow up. Well, she dodges that. And now gonna turn over Stanley Heyman's neck breaker on the outside over the ropes. And Nash went in with the cover. Can we have it here? No. Close, but no cigar. Very close there. And Miranda trying to call for a, basically for a timeout here. They're telling the referee to back Dashwood up and complaining about the chops to the abs. Oh, and just his finger to the eye. What are you talking about? There were fingers that Miranda poked the Tennille in the eye. I think you're the one that needs glasses. I used to have them, but I don't need them anymore. And, and she, she got a handful of hair. Come on, Al. You see that? No comment, as usual. All is, all is fair in love and war. All right, well, these two have gone past the love stage and definitely into the war stage as Miranda Alizé now seating, seated over Tennille. Keep the hands off the hair! Hands off the hair! And again, you can hear the referee admonishing Miranda, telling her to get the hands off the hair, which she does, but then a stomp to the back, stomp to the face. Now Miranda hooking Dashwood, but Dashwood, no, small package. Cradle in the middle, run two, and oh, oh. So close there, and Miranda not wasting any time to make sure that Tennille cannot follow that up. Pin attempt again, somewhat lackadaisical on the part of Miranda. She's got her in trouble now, she's got her in trouble. Alizé now with a chop, a receipt of sorts for the chops that came to her from Dashwood. Telling the audience to be quiet so they can hear the resonation. And now ramming Tennille's head into the top turnbuckle. What, what's she doing here? Warming herself up, psyching herself up, running in, standing drop kick. Corner to corner, oh, big! Running drop kick. This may be it. This may be it. This could well be it. Two. Nope. Still gas in the tank for Tennille Dashwood. Impressive. Absolutely impressive. I really thought she had her. Playing with her now. Yeah, Alizé, this is, a, this is a strange choice on her part. It may not have been the smartest choice, but she does remain in control. Alizé now introducing Tennille's head to the turnbuckles on both corners. And now going to go for number three. Tennille blocks it. Kick to the midsection drives Miranda back. And now Tennille returning the favor repeatedly. You can hear the crowd counting along there. Oh. Now trapped in another corner. What's oh this? She's going for the tarantula. Wow! This I is one of her signature moves. Shades of Tajiri. Shades of Tajiri. She has got that tarantula hooked on, but only long enough to break before that count of five. Doesn't want to get disqualified. I was in that move once, and it's not fun. And Tennille now diving splash. Cross body in the corner. And this well could be it. Hooks the leg. Go, 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 go. Oh, there is a God. There is a God. Two and a half. And even Tania looking at the referee, I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure I didn't get three? Miranda now breaking the up step up in Seguri. By Miranda. And a running! Wow. Wow, that, she, does, she, does she have her here? And, oh, man! That was a running diamond cutter. That was, and she came within about an eighth of a count away from being, from being able to win this match. That ref might not know how to count to three. I wonder if he's still a little shaken up from last week when Scott Steiner threw him out of the ring. And now perching Tennille on the top rope, perhaps looking to go for a superplex. Well, there's a headbutt. That's going to rock Tennille's world, a couple of them. Yeah, 
what could she possibly be going for? Well, I think there's really only one choice here, and there we go. Hooking the leg, looking for the superplex, but Tennille able to block it somehow. And just shoves Miranda off. Tennille now on the top rope, high cross body. Takes down Miranda, and still not enough to keep her down. What is it gonna take? to keep one of these two women down for the three count. Wow, what an amazing match. The fans are really into this. Now I'm into it. This is amazing. Now Dashwood waiting momentarily. Goes for the kick. Trainer by Miranda. One, two, no. And a code breaker by, by Miranda as well. Two, that's two two counts in a matter of approximately 20 seconds. Miranda's got to keep pushing this if she wants to get get the win. I'm literally at the edge of my seat. Now just just ramming the back of her head into the mat. Picking up to Neil. What's she gonna have in mind here? Well, whatever it was, it wasn't. It's not gonna happen now. Dashwood down off the ropes. Yakuza kick. She may have her. And she does. She called it out. That's it. Woo. The winner of the match, Camille Dashwood. That deserves a Lord of mercy. Well, an amazing debut here in WCR for Tennille Dashwood, and I am sure that she, as well as many, many other women, are going to be making their way here to join the revolution.